the back. No bungees. That's because they're on the inside. Okay. They're running on the inside and through a through a catch on the outside of the wing. So it does its job of keeping the wing rolled over, but doesn't restrict lift across the back anywhere. Okay? Because when that happens, you run that bungee across. You can, you know, get air trapped here or here, or maybe up in this corner or that corner, so that it can throw off your trim and movement because air is trapped when you're dumping air from the VC. So by not having anything across the back, it, it limits that possible that you know that option of air being trapped. So you get a nice flow through. But the bungees are still doing their job of pulling the BC down on the sides. Okay? Now, what I was showing you with my attachment points, I use what I call the ring bungee system. And that is specifically so, you know, the way I see it, if you want the bottles to be on your side, then clip them to your side. If you're going to clip them to the front, then you got to work with them to get them off to the side. Okay? If you uh, want the bottles... If you run a bungee uh, through the, uh, the here, and then put the bottle, then put the bungee over the bottle, well, the bottles are still going to move all the way to the front of those bungees. So, their actual position can now be changed by how much air you put in the BC because as you inflate the BC, the bungees tighten a little bit, they move the bottles a little bit to a point where now they just start restricting the BC. But I say, I want those bottles to be back here. I want them to be clipped off right there on the sides. Okay? That side mount. I want the bottles there so I can do this and not have bottles catching me right there like if I was on a stage box. So, yeah, put this up here. Crotch strap is real important with a side mount rig because you're attaching bottles to a lower point back down here on the plate. So you want to make sure the crotch strap is holding the plate down so it can't move around and, and pop off. Don't want to make it too tight, but you also want to make sure it helps pull the waist belt down. Okay? You know, you want you want this belt to come into a little bit of a V. Alright, look. You want to come down into a little bit of a V. You don't want a loose crotch strap that everything pulls up and your waist belt is up here. Okay? You want it to pull down. Some of us uh, can do that naturally. You know, we've got, we got here it pulls it down. And some of us have to work with the crotch strap to make sure it pulls the belt down. Okay? But you want to make sure that it pulls down into a little bit of a V just like this. All right? Now, Notice where my rings are right here. <laughs> now, what this gives me is one, I have a hard metal attachment right there. From that clip, that quick link to this ring, it's hard metal. Okay? The real purpose of a bungee is to do nothing more than take the buoyancy weight of a bottle and keep it in place. And that buoyancy weight of a bottle, once it's attached off here, this just becomes a pivot point. So, there's no weight on these bungees once you're in the water. They'll literally go right there. They can pull all the way to that tank right back there. So that's where they're going to stay. So part of the concern is how much stretch do I have to get this attachment point out and put the bottle to it. Okay? And then when you're walking, it's going to be down like that. But when you're in the water, it's going to take the bottle and keep it right back there. Okay? That's, that's the thing. So when you just clothesline a bottle, Remember, that bottle's going to slide all the way to the point of the bungee and be right where it's attached. It's always going to be right there because that's where you've attached the bungee. Now, some guys will take and loop the bungee and take that and pull it over a bottle, and they'll get that effect of pulling it back as well. But that's like I was telling you earlier in terms of, okay, if you don't have a hard neck attachment, then you can't drop into that hole you can't get over the side of that boat because you need to be able to clip off the bottle and move away. And one of the things with my system is like, when I say right hand bottle, grab it with your left hand because the right hand is finding the ring. Okay, I can just walk away and let it drop because I have a hard metal attachment. Okay, I can walk this bottle to the water just like this. 
I can carry a strap like this, distribute the weight while I walk it to the water. <laughs> okay. But the bottle, notice where it's sitting. It's right here. Okay. Now when I clip off the bottom, it's not going to change what that bottle's doing. It's right there. Or is that the position of your bottle when you dive? Actually, the neck of the bottle, is that pretty much where pretty it's much. going to be? But what's going to happen is that bungee is going to pull it up like that because there will be no weight on the bottle. It will just be its buoyancy in the water. So it's going to be more like that. That's been my issue because I've had a bit too far up in my armpit.